everyone. Today I'm going to share with you a very hydrating hairspray that I've been using to keep my strands healthy and strong while they are tucked away in my braids. This mixture has some of my favorite ingredients that help keep my curls bouncy and shiny and soft, which is so important when your hair is put away for such a long period of time. All of the ingredients that I use today, as well as storage information, will be listed in the description box, so make sure to check that out. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. First off, I've got some amla powder, which is great for conditioning the hair and maintaining shine and bounce. And I've also got some hibiscus, which will maintain those beautiful ringlets in my curls. I've also got a little bit of fenugreek seeds to add some strength and also to prolong the hydration that I get from the spray for a few days longer. And finally, we've got some flax seeds. And no, we're not making a styling gel. These seeds are great to use as a leave-in to help maintain bounce in your curls, nourish the scalp, and keeping those strands hydrated for days at a time. Now when figuring out how much of each herb or seed to use in the spray, I would start off with a very small amount of only a fourth teaspoon of each herb and about a sixteenth of a cup to an eighth of a cup of flax seeds. I say this because a lot of us tend to wash our hair less when they are in protective styles and unless if you spend a lot of time swimming, there's really no need to pile on the ingredients. Today, however, I am using about half a teaspoon of each herb because I am about to wash my hair, but I would not go above this amount. Once you have all of your ingredients, you're just going to add them all into a pot and pour in about two cups of water. Give that a little mix, put on a lid, and then let that simmer on low for about 15 minutes. From there, I like to pour my mix into my spray bottle for easy application, and because flax seeds do tend to thicken the consistency of the spray, I like to pour in some aloe vera juice into my bottle to help thin that out and also give myself a wee bit more hydration. You won't see me doing that here because my bottle is pretty full already, but as I do use my spray and my bottle starts to empty out, I will mix in some of that aloe vera. Now the last thing that you can add if you'd like is some essential oils for scent. I am a huge fan of peppermint at the moment because it feels so cooling and refreshing in this hot summer air, but use whatever your heart desires. And there you go, you've got your spray. You can apply this to your hair strands and your scalp as often as you'd like. I personally like to apply this one to two times a week or after swimming or after washing my hair. And I just like to spray it directly onto my strands, really focusing on where I think my ends are, and just kind of squish it in with my fingers. In between those times, I will store my spray in the fridge for up to two weeks, or until the smell starts to get a little bit funky. But that is it. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and I will see you again soon.